Okay, nice. All right. Well, I'm just going to go for that then. Can you and that bunda not sit on my toe? <laughs> like... It's pretty funny because when we hit 1,000 subscribers just a while ago, we had all these party poppers. We were with my whole family. Like, it was this big, huge deal. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess we what? got monetized! <laughs> Woo! 1,000 down. And we've just hit 10,000 subscribers. And I just like can't even fathom that that just happened. Cause it came out of nowhere. I know, it feels like a dream. Like I feel unprepared and it feels like it hasn't actually happened. Like I'm dreaming this. So yeah, we just, we just hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. How do you feel about that? Pretty stoked. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's 98. 9,998. This is just insanity right here. Do you know how long it took us to get to 100 people? And now we're two people away from 10,000. 10,000. Oh my goodness, it's 9999. 9,999. Oh my goodness. 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 Oh my gosh. sneak downstairs and I'm going to show my parents the screen. Ah, Chloe! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Oscar's ecstatic. Whoa! <laughs> Chloe! That is cool. <laughs> well done. <laughs> woo! <laughs> woo! I'm assuming if you've clicked on this video, you're probably one of those 10,000 subscribers already. If you're not, welcome. We're Chloe and Ludwig. We make travel videos here on YouTube focusing on travel journeys. We like to take trains, long distance. Half of us do. <laughs> you will. You will. We like to take flights. Again, half of us like to take flights. <laughs> Cruises, road trips, and he is Swedish. I'm Kiwi. We live in New Zealand. We just like to be entertaining, provide a bunch of travel information, and most importantly, inspire you to get out there and travel yourselves. Anything you'd like to add? No. Most importantly, I would like to thank each and every one of you for subscribing. Here comes a hug. Three, two, one, hug. Boobies in the... Oh, that was boobies in the shot, hang on. Hug from down here. But that was like one of those awkward shoulder hugs where it's gonna be like, uh, you know when people hug and it's like, all bony? Yeah, I, don't, I sent you an air hug. If you decided to also hug me back, thank you for that. A big huge thank you. Thanks for joining us. We're so excited to have you here. We absolutely adore all of the comments we received from all of you guys. This is the most fun. What? Thank you, you want to say thank you. Oh, thank you. Is there anything else you would like to add? Thanks. I appreciate all of you. Every single one of you. We just wanted to make a super real, raw kind of video. We honestly have not scripted any single bit of this, as you can probably really easily tell. What we actually asked on both our YouTube community and our Instagram audience is, have you got any questions for us? And a bunch of you have asked us some really interesting questions actually. So in this video, it's basically gonna be a fun little Q and A. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> to celebrate 10,000 subscribers, in my very first business class video, I think I mentioned that we were gonna, I really wanted to get one of those fancy little like wireless microphones that people seem to have clipped on their tops. So as a newbie to not only vlogging, but in particular, plain vlogging, I honestly didn't know how the heck my sound would turn out. I've watched a bunch of these flight videos myself and I've noticed they're all wearing what seems to be like a little Bluetooth mic. I honestly couldn't bring myself to buy more vlogging gear yet until we have really got this business underway. So I hoped for the best. Turned out the sound was And I think there was no better way to celebrate 10,000 subscribers than to like level up our equipment even more. So I went out and I got this. 
I finally got it. One of these wireless mics. I feel like this is gonna make everything so much easier, isn't it, Ludwig? Most likely, yeah. Because Ludwig doesn't quite really like when we walk around with the camera and the big mic on top of the big camera with a tripod. Well, I don't like to talk. So right now you're on our proper, you're on our proper microphone by the TV, balancing on the table with our little microphone at the top. But we're gonna switch it up very shortly to this guy. Isn't that right? Tell me how you met and fell in love. Ludwig, take it away. We were both working as cases in Canada. And then we had a staff party and Chloe scooped me up. He's wearing the shoes that go blink, blink, blink. That was a seller apparently. He had lighty up Reebok shoes on the dance floor. Mm, that's the ones. And I said, yeah. I taught her how to snowboard and... Patience of the saint. She gradually wore me down. And then here we are. Yeah. Seven years later. Yeah. Almost seven years. Seven years. Almost seven years ago. When I first met Ludwig, I wasn't super interested, but he looked really interesting. Interesting character with all his tattoos. He had lighty up Reebok shoes. He had long hair at the time. And he was just so intriguing to me. Another thing, he was Swedish. He was super exotic. Uh, I just thought, I have to go and talk to this guy. And then he taught me how to snowboard from absolute scratch. A Kiwi who had only seen the snow once before in her life, and I think I kind of just fell in love. What is on your bucket list? What isn't yeah, on our bucket list? I was gonna say everything. I think a fun thing would be you had to pick your absolute number one thing that comes to the top of your head, Livic. Space. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to go to space. Antarctica. We'll do one more question here and then we'll go and test out the mic. Yep. Okay. Would you live in Sweden? We would live in Sweden in a bigger city where it's easier for internationals. But yeah, it's, it's too much admin to move to Sweden as well. Mm -hmm. Easier to live in New Zealand. Yeah. And it's, we both like New Zealand. Yeah. I lived in Sweden for a total of a year with Ludwig. And that was one of the best experiences ever. I met all of his friends and family. Sweden is beautiful. Everything about it is great. And I think the only hard thing was is that we were living in sort of Ludwig's hometown where there aren't a lot of internationals. And I did find it extremely difficult to get a job without speaking the language. I did kind of feel a little bit isolated not being able to understand anybody. So if we were to move back there, I think we'd look yeah, towards some of the bigger cities where there are a lot more English speaking people. Of course, I would love to be able to learn to speak fluently. That'd be the easiest thing. Mm. Um, so it was really fun to have that experience and I wouldn't take it away for the world, but it's much easier for him to move to New Zealand with me, visa-wise, than for me to try to migrate to Sweden for some reason. Yeah. Very difficult. I think we try this new mic then, hey? I'm so excited. It's pretty ideal. Check it there. <laughs> be sweet. <laughs> P.S. Look what we just discovered. I don't know if anyone else knows you can do this on an iPhone. Go back to what it looks like and then do it again. What are you doing? I was holding on the photo. And what? Going down. Oh my goodness. Whoa, that's awesome. I've been doing it on like Canva Pro, but that's cool. You can do it on your phone. Right from the phone. Wow. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Blah 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 Did it work? We are now using the new microphone. Apparently it's meant to be really good, so I'm just gonna have a little tester here. Hopefully it works. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Why not have a COVID wedding and a party with the family now? That is actually a really good question. We thought about it, but since my family's from Sweden, her family's from New Zealand, it just makes sense to wait it out. No rush here. I mean, we've been engaged for five years, so more of a special thing if everyone's at the actual wedding. Next question. Which airlines are on your wish list? Premium cabins, specifically. Well, this is a, a question I've thought about many times and one that's very easy to answer. That would no doubt be 
Singapore Airlines Business Class from New York to Singapore. Currently the world's longest flight, I believe it's about 19 hours. A runner up to that would absolutely be Q Suites, Qatar, whichever route I could possibly take. The longest possible, maybe from here to Sweden. All right, next question is, is Canada gonna be your long-term home or will you be looking at moving it somewhere else someday? Well, you might have noticed that in our last couple of videos, or on Instagram, we're not actually in Canada anymore. We moved back to New Zealand. New Zealand soil right here. So, the answer is no. What are your future plans for 2024? Boy, do we have a lot of them. Where do I start? And the reason I'm answering this question is because 95% of the time Ludwig has no idea what we're doing until the day That's we right. leave. We are starting off the new year on a cruise. Not just any cruise, the most unique cruise we've ever heard of. And I'm very excited about that. It's a cruise line that does everything very differently. And the best part is it's two weeks long. So I'm very excited for that. And we'll be on there for New Year's night, or well, New Year's Eve. So that's really exciting. Can't wait to share that with you. You can look forward to that January, February on YouTube. We are then of course getting married in Sweden. So we've got a very, very, very exciting honeymoon planned up in Scandinavia somewhere. Maybe you can guess where we might be spending our honeymoon below. And it's not 2024, but the end of this year we are doing a really long train crossing a whole another country from east to west over four days and Ludwig's coming with me so that's gonna be fun and I really I think we have a lot of other stuff in between the whole of next year like it's gonna be an action-packed year yeah we're doing a lot would you ever consider doing a long distance trail such as Everest base camp etc I think you would make some great content on treks. Frick yeah. Would love to do base camp, Kilimanjaro. I want to walk on the Great Wall of China. And I wouldn't mind walking on the moon, but that's also pretty far away, I reckon. What is your favorite travel credit card? Well, I'm not very good at all this credit card stuff. And as I've mentioned before, is that New Zealand, we don't seem to have those same kind of credit card opportunities that you have maybe in the States. So I just went with plain old American Express Platinum Card. Are you okay there? American Express Platinum Card. And that seems to get us some good air points for, to use for Air New Zealand and other Star Alliance flights. Maybe we'll upgrade to the next one up soon. Someone mentioned it on the comments the other day and that sounds intriguing. So American Express. What's your favorite airline? Oh, that's a, uh, that's a good question. I'm pretty happy with all the airlines. But if I really had to choose based on maybe my business class experiences recently, I'm probably going to have to say Air Canada. Yeah, Air Canada is probably one of my favorites. I loved it. The service was great. The seat was nice. The lighting was awesome. Loved it. However, ooh, if it's airline lounge, oh, I think that might have to be Air New Zealand. Best lounge. Yeah, definitely. It's come to the point in the video where I would like to thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure entertaining you with my briefness. As we've mentioned, we've got many more videos to come. So stay entertained. Well, not stay entertained. What's the word I'm looking for? Stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. And we'll make sure that you're entertained. You know what to do. Hit the thumbs up. To subscribe. Drop a comment. Chloe loves reading all the good comments. She replies to every single one she can. Keep it up, fam. Let's do it.